I want you to know that I think I'm the luckiest man in the world. And I say this not only because I have the honor to be president of the United States, but particularly because I have the privilege of uh, speaking for so many and welcoming you back to Earth. Wolfram was the first man in the water. His job was to attach the sea anchor to stabilize the capsule. Wolfram, Chesser, and Mallory then went back to their upwind location in the second raft while Hadelberg gave the astronauts their isolation garments to put on. After the capsule was washed down, Hadelberg washed down the astronauts. Wolfram, Chesser, and Mallory in the upwind raft then returned to the capsule and secured their raft to serve as lifeguards in case the astronauts were in need of help. As the recovery progressed, the sea state abated. The Apollo 11 command module had traveled 952,700 miles in eight days, three hours and 19 minutes, and landed just 10 seconds behind the flight plan time within one mile of its target point. When the astronauts disembarked their helicopter, they immediately entered the mobile quarantine trailer. President Nixon soon arrived to greet them. President Nixon waving to the astronauts. The curtains have been drawn. And there they are in the rear, rear window. President signaling for applause from the crowd. Astronauts gather in the window. As the USS Hornet approached, Wolfram climbed on top of the module and held onto the reinforced loop. He made a 1960s hippie-like fashion statement by wearing bright yellow and orange flower decals on his wetsuit. A seaman shot a line out to the module and Wolfram attached it to the loop before jumping off the capsule. The capsule with its moon cargo was then hoisted aboard the USS Hornet. Mission accomplished. There are more videos and pictures at johnwolfram.com.